Welcome back to the studio, Ryan, aka Bloodshot Airbrushing. And, yep, would you believe it? I don't believe it. Would you believe it? 8,000 strong in the Bloodshot Army. Oh, the world knows we are here to spray and we are learning more and more every day. And that's the way we like to play. What do you say? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so for all you new members, 500 new members in the Bloodshot Army, what I usually do is a roll call video so you can let me know where you're from, what you want to learn, what brings you to this channel, um, any information that can help me to improve these videos and get these things out to you guys with the information that you desire, that you crave. And, uh, how to win is it's a random number generator. So I take all the names, you get classified with one number. You can comment as many times as you want. You get one number. <laughs> And then at the end of it, five numbers are generated and those are the winners. So it's as fair as I could possibly do it. There is no, uh, you can, you can call me what you want. You can praise me all you want. It doesn't get you a better chance of a sticker. It makes my day, which makes me a happy camper, which probably produces better videos, right? Happy wife, happy life. Happy dude. He ain't rude. <laughs> And, uh, previous winners. So we still have about, I think, eight or so unclaimed prizes. And, I mean, it's nothing crazy, guys. It's just my little sticker bunch where you get one big bloodshot army, two little ones, and a teeny tiny bloodshot airbrushing. And... As I've said before, this is the only way you can get them. I'm not selling these stickers, and I do have plans for more merch coming on down the line. But now these bad boys, the only way to get these guys <laughs> is to win them. And I think we're going to keep that going and keep that flowing until this channel is... Well, there may come a point where we might have to condense it, but we'll see. I'm going to keep these as winnable stickers for the entirety of this channel. Just gives a little something back to you guys. No cost to you, it's all shipping on my end. And you guys get to enjoy the pride of being an official member. <laughs> You're all official members. But now you got a badge to show for it. Stick it on your vehicle, stick it on your artboard, stick it on your wall, stick it on your wife, stick it on your dog, stick it somewhere. But fly that thing with pride because you are among the lucky few and as I said, I think over the year and a half, almost, that we've been doing this channel, we've got about a uh, hundred winners, so that's pretty cool. There's only a hundred people rocking the same badges that you win if you get them on this channel. And we usually run these contests for about 24 hours, so from the time this video drops, you will see my comment in the comment section, and along with that, a uh, brief description of where you to go should you win and on the 24 hour mark five names will be entered and if your name is among the lucky few well follow the instructions and it'll tell you what to do and when I say new gear introducing the bloodshot army airbrush wielding warrior oh yeah Oh yeah! <laughs> so new merch coming on down the line. And you can get that on the Spreadshirt page along with the other t-shirts and merch that we have available. Um, big plans to sort of market this a little bit different. Um, I want to get out some very simple products for you guys to help you save some time and some money and to better your skills, hone those skills so you can master the tool. You know how I do, I'm honing it every day. Every day I learn something new and that's the beautiful thing about this job. And I know guys, I know, 
I'm not putting out as many videos as I should, as I want to, as you guys are asking for. Ryan, where are you? I was wondering where you were. Oh, finally, a new video. I've been waiting. I get it. I get it. I'm a busy boy, all right? Look at the studio just today, all right? We've got one project that's got to go back to the body shop to get ready for me to do some pinstripes on. We've got a touch-up project that has been to the body shop, all the little rock chips and dents have been fixed and bondoed, and then I went in and did my little touch-ups with my black and white. Relatively simple, as you can see in some of these little areas here. He rides it pretty hard, so we just want to make sure that it's back to brand new and he can flaunt it with pride. We've got another big decker that needs to be done. Uh, he's got leather bags on this one, so no saddlebags, but still we've got the fairing side covers. We've got, man, pieces galore. Uh, the little oil bucket finally got finished. You can have a little look at this guy here. And we're just playing off of the Fighting Irish, the Notre Dame. And this was done for a couple local brothers. Used to own a motorcycle shop in the city. Now they just do their own builds. The evil twins. So we've got one or the other, and as you can see, I've just taken the drawing, turned it into a couple quick cutouts, and then just masked that, and did sort of a paint by number. And if you are interested in that process, it was a simple one, so I didn't film it. Um, the touch-ups, I didn't film, mostly because I'm so busy, and we got time frames that gotta be met. Um, but I am going to put up some process pictures on how I accomplished that little dude over there. And yes, the little noisemaker in the corner there. My compressor, on top of everything, <laughs> my compressor decided to take a dive. So I had to bring out the ancient, the ancient Aztec. <laughs> um, this is actually one of the oil based compressors where you got to make sure it's topped up with oil and this guy is a funny little unit but uh it's gotten me through i guess i may do uh, and i'm pretty fortunate i'm pretty sure that it's just a switch just my little switch on top here the little on off trigger that went out on this guy on my handy little compressor here and the good thing is i've actually got two the first compressor i ran for about 15 years until the motor gave up and then i went out and got this guy and i'm sure it's just a little toggle switch so we're gonna switch out the switches and i'm sure we'll get her going and man let me tell you i have become so spoiled i am so used to running two airbrushes simultaneously man running one airbrush to knock off this project, constantly swapping back and forth between colors. Yup, I get it, I get it. Something that I haven't had to do for a very long time. It's frustrating, and this is gonna bring me right back to a singular point. Guys, my airbrushing thinning slash cleaning solution, the fantastic, and uh, I found a link for this stuff on Amazon and I'm pretty sure that stuff is like worldwide pretty sure so for those of you asking there is a link in the description section for some of that fantastic cleaning solution mix that with a bit of water check out my video and you can use that to clean and thin all your water-based acrylics now again that's not gonna work for the one shots it's not gonna work for your urethanes but anything water-based, water-based acrylic paints, all of your India inks, all your Createx, all your Wicked's, man, they all will be cleaned and thinned with this solution, and this will save you, man, a heap of cash. I can just imagine how much I've saved in the over two decades that I've been doing this. I wouldn't go any other way. And you've probably seen in the background, kind of been shielding it from you don't look don't look this is lumilor number two so this is project number two we got coming on down the line and that will be filmed and recorded for you guys i've got some test samples which are basically for me to play with at this stage i ain't gonna be recording that stuff 
But I think what I will do is I will kill the lights. We've got three different colors here. So I want to show you what can be achieved with the Lumilord just with their color base. And then you can start tinting that over top. And so here we are with the lights off. And now you can really see how this Lumilore glows. So do stay tuned as we will be unveiling that one in the coming weeks. And here is your Lumilore Blue. Um, it's one of their brighter colors they offer. Here is your Lumilore Orange, and we're still playing around with these, trying some different effects with just the product as is. And this brings us right back to the Lumilore White, which is the same color as the gas tank. So I hope that gets you guys excited for some new things coming on down the line. Ha 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 ha! But that's a discussion for another video. This is just where we happen to be right now. So, <laughs> I think that's kind of where I'm at. That gives you guys a bit of an update. As I said, the studio is crazy busy. Again, another one I just got to do some simple pinstripes on. Ain't going to record it. It's just like literally going over top of the existing lines. Easy breezy, um, but I do plan to do some more pinstriping videos down the road. I know you guys have been asking, so that will come in due time. Mama busy boy. I do what I can. I definitely enjoy being a part of YouTube. I hope you guys are still enjoying the ride, and you know how it goes. Like, follow, subscribe. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Cheers. And feel free to cruise on by the Spreadshirt page. I'll link in the description for your Bloodshot merch. The new Airbrush Wielding Warrior will be up and running in the coming weeks. And don't forget, guys, we've got the Airbrushing for Beginners. We've got Airbrushing Hacks. And plenty of tutorials coming on down the line. Tell the world the Bloodshot Army is here to spray.